In this session, we'll take a look at how to use customer, product, and employee selectors. In some areas of EOSTAR, you'll be able to filter the information displayed on your screen using the product, customer, or employee filters. While most commonly found in the reporting areas, they are also used in other parts of EOSTAR. These filters allow you to select a group of items, customers, or employees based on various attributes assigned to them. Clicking on the U-turn looking icon will open up the filter options. From here, you can select the group that you want to include. For example, if we want to run a report for a particular chain or group of chains, I can select them here. By going into the customer list, we can also select individual customers if we would like. In the upper right is a Show Exclude Panel checkbox. This works just like the Include side, but means you will include everything except what you've selected. In this example, we've included the entire Cobb grocery chain, but we're going to go ahead and exclude just one of those stores, so it will show all Cobb groceries except this one store. Click the X to close the window. You will see the filter information in the box below. The product selector looks very similar to the customer selector, only it has product information instead. The pre-sellers filters are a little different in that they work in a hierarchy system. So if you check the top person in the list, it will include anybody that reports to that employee. You can also select individual employees on the lowest end, regardless of who they report to. One other minor difference here is that you should use the Apply button instead of the X to close the window. 